If you're ready to jumpstart your career with ServiceNow and its products, but not entirely sure how to start or whether or not a specific role is good for you, then stay tuned because I have a tool that I think will help you tremendously. Dear me, three to six months, watch how I make you proud. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Xavier. This is Tech Xavier. And in this channel, I share my journey in tech, both on the education learning side and on the career side. Today, I'm going to walk you through a tool called Career Journey by ServiceNow. It's one that I'm going to be using while pursuing my technical architect certification. And I think it's one that you can benefit from as well. And let's go ahead and take a look to see what it has to offer and how we can leverage this tool for our own career success. All right, so here I am at the career journey homepage or actually the now learning homepage. If you're not familiar with now learning, I do have another video, which I'll link at the top so that you can learn more about just this site that ServiceNow offers. It's great if you wanna learn new materials. And once you create your account with now learning, you should arrive at a page similar to this. And we're just gonna focus right on the top. At the time of this recording, they have the career journey information right at the top of the page. And you can go through this information depending on which career path you wanna choose. So to start off, make sure that you have career journey selected. And then you have arrows to the left and right. And it starts out with system administrator. This is probably one of the more popular certifications to get and roles to assume, especially if you're new to the platform. You also have application developer. So if you like creating applications, either with extensive code or low code, you can go through this route here. And then you have implementer. So this is the person who's responsible for getting a new product deployed into the environment for the first time. So a lot of organizations use things like ITSM and that's IT service management. And that's a really popular one for things like taking tickets and fulfilling requests in a very general way. Then you have things like customer service management, you have HR service delivery, you have security operations, there's so many different things to implement. And this is the career journey that you would take for that. Then you have business process analyst. And this one is for individuals who like to leverage data, through reporting and metrics, and use that data to address business issues. So you're interfacing with a business process owner and then maybe a technology product owner to help them iron out any kinks so that things continue to flow. And the next one is a technical project manager. So you're probably the person who once something is deployed and new releases need to come through, you're helping to keep everybody on track. You're updating a RACI chart. You're updating maybe the project portfolio management component of things. And you're keeping everything rolling. You're on top of it and you're communicating the progress to the sponsors and maybe other stakeholders. Now for this video, I'm going to focus on the system administrator career journey, because again, it is probably one of the more popular ones, but feel free on your own time to go through all the other career journeys and you'll see a similar setup. So I'm going to go and click on view journey. And here it brings me to this page and let's just read it together. So it's a system administrator career journey. And as you can see right here, it says the system administrators are highly organized technical experts who manage the ServiceNow platform for their companies. This career journey is a collection of courses, credentials, and activities organized by job level that will help you prepare for a system administrator role in the ServiceNow ecosystem. So there is a video on day of life of the system administrator that is also part of the curriculum, which we'll look at. But here you can see kind of what's in the career journey. So they have a welcome link here. You can look at the achievement levels within the career journey and then navigate your career journey based off of where you're starting at. Now, I think most people are going to be right in here, but within this journey path, you have different levels. So you have associate system administrator, professional administrator, and then expert administrator. And if we scroll down, it gives a breakdown of what an associate level is. So the associate system administrator level is designed for those who have typically zero. So you've branded the platform to three years of experience with ServiceNow. The associate system administrator level will focus on completing introductory ServiceNow system administrator coursework, 
learning certain welcome and micro certifications and prepping for the mainline exam, which is the certified system administrator exam, uh, joining the ServiceNow community and using the ServiceNow docs and developer site. And then lastly, assisting with the incident management and common instance management and administrative tasks. And this is set for three days. It, they estimate it may take about three days and 10 hours to complete in total. And then you can see all the different aspects of this career journey. So you have some information that's been maybe completed already. You have some stuff that you can review. These like little five minute content courses. Some of these are a little bit longer. So we have this is one hour, three hours. So it's just tons of information. And this is just to prime you to go through the like fundamentals courses or maybe even the advanced ServiceNow course. And then the same applies to the professional administrator. So here's a professional administrator. It's just a level up. And they recommend that if you have three to five years of experience in ServiceNow, you want to start here and it prepares you for other mainline certifications. And then if we go up to the top, or I guess we're going to scroll down to the bottom, but we have the expert one. This is for someone who has more than five years of experience and it just puts you in the driver's seat for some other skills that you may want to go through. Now I'm starting this thing as if I'm brand new. And the reason it is because I got my certification almost a year ago to date and I've <laughs> forgotten more than I retained to be completely frank, going for my certification, also going for my degree, and then also trying to balance work and personal life. I didn't give myself as much practice as I would have liked to, to really feel competent as an administrator. There's a lot of things that I know very well within the platform and a lot of like primary things that I need to know in terms of account management, user management, things like that. But there are all these little increment interests. I can't even say the word, but little details <laughs> that I think I can definitely stand to review. And so I'm going to go through the associate admin course. And as I go through it, I'll make sure to share what my experiences are with different courses. You'll probably see a couple of videos go out a day. So I'll probably start with these three to start and just tell you, hey, these are some of the benefits you can gain from taking these courses. Some of this is content, some of them are videos, some of them are activities. So it just really depends on where you're at. But I think this is a great start for anyone who is new to the platform in general. These are all free. And so you can definitely make use of these on your own, regardless if you're with a company or you're just independently going through the, the content. And then once you, you finish this, that you'll be in the position to go through the more advanced or intermediate version of the ServiceNow administrative courses, and then prep yourself to pay for the course and then also pay for and pass the exam. So I think this is a really good way to get exposure to this career field. All right. So that about does it for this video. Try to keep it short and sweet. Thank you for checking this out. Let me know if you have any questions or maybe you're working in the career journey space and you want to share your experience with it. Leave that down in the comment below. Let's build some awareness around this because ServiceNow has a lot of great tools and features, but I don't know if people are talking about the education that it offers for people who are aspiring to work in the platform. So again, as I always say, this road can be challenging depending on where you're at or what your level of comfort is with certain topics. And all I can ask of you is to just not be too hard on yourself. Everyone faces something that is difficult or challenging. We all get imposter syndrome at some point in our careers. And the best thing is just to, instead of being hard on yourself, just work hard on yourself. Take the time to create systems that help you, that you can leverage, find people that you can connect with. I'm definitely available if you want to leave a comment or, or reach out to me and just try to work through these problems because you will come out of it much more confident, much more capable, and much more empathetic to someone else who's in that position in the future. So my name is Xavier. This is Tech Xavier. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Dear me, three to six months, watch how I make you proud.